Breaking here at 6 o'clock, several officers hurt in a prison attack. Right now, the entire Sousa Baranowski prison is on lockdown. I'm David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. Five officers were sent to the hospital. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live in Shirley right now with the very latest. Ken? Lisa and David, local traffic is usually allowed to drive right by the prison, but as you can see, not tonight. The lockdown here at Sousa Baranowski continues, which means restricted access. This follows an incident this morning where five corrections officers went to the hospital, one perhaps with a slash wound. Sky Eye found no trace of a riot response at Sousa Baranowski, home to just over a thousand maximum security inmates and one of the more technologically advanced prisons in the country. But officials now acknowledge that a corrections officer was attacked by an inmate just after 8 this morning in the G1 housing unit. That officer, along with four others he summoned for help on his radio, went to the hospital while the prison went into lockdown. There have been a couple of other serious incidents here in the last few years. Last August, surveillance video captured inmates punching and kicking an officer after jumping him in the K2 housing block. Six officers were hurt in the ensuing melee, and the prison was locked down. In January of 2017, rioting inmates virtually destroyed the P1 housing unit, running amok for three hours with makeshift weapons after refusing to be locked in their cells. The prison's special ops team regained control by flooding the unit with tear gas. And while no one was seriously hurt, officials surveyed the weapons seized and said the inmates appeared to be, quote, getting ready for war. Corrections officials have not given any specifics on the injuries suffered by the officers today, but do describe it as a serious assault now being investigated by the Worcester DA. Live in Shirley tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News. Ken